Praise Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Amen. How exciting to be in the presence of the living God. Come on, yes. Let us just give him that warm welcome with our clapping. You know, when an important person gets in, you celebrate that he's here. Hallelujah. You celebrate that he's the king of kings. And you celebrate that you are here alive this morning. no control on if you open your eyes this morning you had no control of if your heart is going to be beating you had no control of if your brain was going to be working some people sleep and they forget everything that happened the day before so we had no control over that but the one who watches over us the one who does not sleep or slumber some of us had good eight hours of sleep or four or six hours of sleep the bible says he does not sleep nor slumber i want us to contemplate the goodness of god and why is he not sleeping and not slumbering because of us because of us god am i that important to you yes you are yes you are because you're part of him amen because you're part of him and he he cannot do without you because you're part of him that's the amazing thing that we 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 worship him because there is he cares so much about us that's what we'll just read psalms 8 and i want us to get into soak into that spirit of awe of the one we worship because sometimes we worship sometimes just because we um, have that habit but once you get into the awe of the one whom you're worshiping hallelujah it becomes a whole different story psalms chapter 8 oh lord oh lord our lord oh lord our lord that was david pouring out his adoration to the lord how excellent is thy name in all the earth hallelujah in all the earth who has set thy glory above the heavens out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hallelujah this morning we have the youngest team member of the team he's not yet with us but he's with us hallelujah Perseid had and Serge had their baby on friday amen <laughs> hallelujah so we have shalom he's called shalom stephen anaba so we are so so grateful that god has added the worshipers hallelujah out of the mouth of suckling babies thou hast ordained strength because of thine enemies i believe that this morning the lord's strength shall be released through your praise because of your enemies thou thou hast stilled the enemy and the avenger when I consider, this is what we're trying to do this morning. When I consider, consider means I reflect, I think about, I ponder. I want you to think about one of the amazing goodnesses of God. One of the amazing wonders of God. For me, it was the wonders of seeing this child who I know the embryology, it was just one cell that you cannot even see on a microscope. You cannot see what that cell looks like on the microscope. But now you have an eight pound baby all, all, every Everything put in place by someone you cannot even see. Everything put in place. Eyes, nerves, blood vessels, heart, lungs, all put in place. Oh Lord my God, when I consider thy heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. What is man that thou art mindful of him? The son of man that you visited him. Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. So the version says, lower than Elohim. Thou hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. And thou hast put all things under his feet. All the sheep, oxen, yes, the beasts of the field. The fowl of the air, the sheep, the fish of the sea. That passeth through the paths of sea. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God. How excellent is thy name. In all the earth. 
just want you to raise up and begin to worship him in spirit. Worship him in your heavenly tongues. Oh Lord, we stand in awe of the one who created the heavens and the earth. We stand in the awe of the one who sets the, the, the paths of life that we walk in. The one who put every structure in place on the earth. We, set, we stand in awe of the one who holds the world by the power of his powerful world, holds everything together. We stand in awe of the one who created the oxygen that we breathe and we don't even know its components and we don't know how it's formed. Lord, we stand in the awe of the one who hung on the tree Mandika, for the creation that persecuted and killed him. We stand in awe of you this morning. You are the mighty God that we worship. You are the mighty God that we praise the God and our words are too few and our words are too feeble to express the magnitude of your greatness. Our words are too feeble to express the magnitude of your faithfulness. Our words are too feeble to express the magnitude of your goodness and our words are too feeble to express the magnitude even of our gratitude. Hey God, how excellent is your name? Excellent is your name in all the earth, in all the earth, in all the heavens, <laughs> in all the under earth. Kalabosa hi hela baledia, yanda la mashi ala mandola le kesale de kase ya baba, enda lukusaya malehe shi ya ba, yende ribosa ki alandi osaka. Yes, worship is rising to the Father. You don't need the music for your worship to rise. There's some music coming up from your heart. It's coming up from your heart. Malan and volumes have been opened. And volumes have been opened of adoration. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. The keeper, the keeper, our keeper, our shed. We worship you, O oh God. We worship you, the one who says, Your foot shall not sorry. I shall not suffer your foot to be moved. I lift up mine eyes to the hills from when does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. <laughs> Yanda Daba, who made the heavens and the earth? Yanda Basa, who will not suffer my foot to be moved? The one who keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, the one who keepeth Israel, the one who keepeth Elizabeth, the one who keepeth Elizabeth, he shall neither slumber nor sleep. I worship you this morning because you did not slumber or sleep upon any one of us, upon those of us who are here. You did not slumber or sleep upon those who are watching online. You didn't slumber or sleep, oh God, over our loved ones in the different parts of the world. Lord, you did not slumber or sleep, for if you did, none of us, oh God, would be awake this morning, oh God. So our praise goes up to you. Our praise goes up to you. Our praise and our gratitude goes up to you for the mighty privilege we have to stand before you, oh God, Amen. and to let our praise be led on high, and to let our worship be led on high.
Yandala Bushi, Kadamari, Kadamasi, Kalabasi, Yadamasi, Yada, Yindarabasi, Kaliana Basi, Kaliana Basi, Yamana Masi, Kalabashi, Kalia Basi, Kaliana Masi, Kaliana Usaki, Yamashi, Kaliana Bosaki, Anamashu, Kodamasi, Haraba, Yakalabashi, Kaliana Basi, Kaliana Busika. Lord, we bless you for you watched over our going out and our coming in for every day of the week, Lord. Malamasiha on the road to work, Lord. Lord, we are bringing gratitude, Lord, not just our song, but Lord, for every day on the road, your word says that you watch over our going out and our coming in, Lord. Thank you for the angels that were on guard against that drunk driver, Lord, that kept us away from the path of destruction. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your angels that kept us alert so we don't drive through that red light. Lord, we say thank you. Are going out and are coming in. We had no control, but the one who holds everything together, Kalandeyo Shala Yanda Baki and Aba provided protection Aliyah, for our children at school Lord, for our children at school thank you, there were no gunmen there was no destruction Lord, daddy we said thank you, daddy your children came to say thank you, daddy your children came to say thank you daddy your children came to say thank you and I want to thank God for provision. Malama, thank God for provision. Is there anyone who went without food this week because you did not have? Do you know that someone provided for you? Do you know that the way made sure that you have more than enough that you don't even think about it? You do not even think about whether I have enough food because he is providing in abundance for you. Daddy, we say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. Malikunde Kalamaha. This whole all week uh, we fed from the abundance of your household lord this whole week we fed from the abundance of your household from the abundance of your provision that you bless the earth with so many good things that we eat and we satisfy it's your goodness it's yours because we don't make anything we can't make anything or fabricate anything that your goodness provides for all of us and you provide for our animals too <laughs> and you provide for our pets too lord <laughs> how wonderful oh lord our god how excellent is your name in all the earth how excellent is your name in all the earth you have set your glory above the heavens you have set your glory above this the heavens this morning we consecrate ourselves as priests I want you to consecrate yourself now as a priest to offer praise that is due him. Consecrate yourself means to separate yourself from your own thinking. Separate yourself from your environment. You are here among people, but we are first of all here in the presence of the Almighty God. Yandaraba, separate yourself from your environment, the feeling of who is here and who is not here. Hallelujah. So that you can get lost in him. Hallelujah. And that you can offer a sacrifice that is pleasing to him. Mandi Masika, for your heart is the sacrifice. Your heart is the sacrifice. Lord, this morning we dedicate our praise. We dedicate ourselves to your God as priests. We ask that the blood of Jesus cleanses us, God, from all unrighteousness. We put on the blood of Jesus. We put Put on the blood of Jesus. We put on the blood of Jesus as our garment as we approach the throne of grace this morning. And we thank you, Father, that you give us the grace to approach. And the Father to extend his scepter and say, draw near with boldness. Draw near with boldness to my throne. So, Lord, we thank you for the grace that this morning we are worshiping with a sacrifice of thanksgiving, of praise, of honor to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Please take your seats. Amen. Before we get uh, to worship the Lord, our God is a good God. Amen. We, we, we are here to praise him. I have a little testimony. Is, is there any other person who had a testimony? We get a lot of testimonies on Friday, so I'll give my testimonies really about the word of God and, um, and a vision that I had in the night. Amen. Anybody wants to hear it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. So I, I truly want that when we come for service, the first thing we do is we, we, we pray. Amen? 
So we pray, we first pray, talk to him, our father who art in heaven. Then we praise, amen? So we will try to be doing that. Come and come and we pray. 15 minutes of prayer. Either we're praying in tongues or we're just praying worship. Because you need to learn how to express those words to the Lord in English. That's why the Psalms are there. If you just start reading out the Psalms, your words would you articulate your brain to praise God. Because someone told me, I don't know how to praise unless I sing. Because your words, you have not given yourself enough vocabulary to tell him. But that's why God put 150 psalms. So that your mouth knows how to articulate in talking, not only through music, because music turns you on in a way that you don't even need to have control. You're just going to be flowing out. But then your will and your mind hasn't been trained. Amen. So to train yourself and your mind is to express your, your, your praise through talking, through speaking it out to God. I love to use the time of my mirror to magnify his name. Because there I'm admiring myself. But I say if I stay, I only admire myself. It's not adding anything to the kingdom of God. <laughs> Why don't I do use this admiration of myself to admire the king of glory? To say something about his wonders while I'm on that mirror. So every time he visits me on that mirror, he knows that's my special altar with him. He comes to hear what I'm going to say about his goodness. About his faithfulness. Hallelujah. So if you incorporate those little things into your praise, angels shall always come close to you. When they know it's about time of worship. So in this dream... Woman of wisdom, this is what happened. I was working, I was going somewhere, and the enemy, I could see these people, they wanted to, um, they wanted to, to, to get me. So I could see, like, there were five of them, five people. And I had to pass through them, but they were standing there and saying, like, this is my property, you can't come by. But I knew that I had something on the other side. So I was going to go through them, but they are just this huge, and they are not normal creatures. I could see their demonic spirits. And as soon as I, I, as soon as I was approaching them, and the spirit of God inside of me was like, "You must do it." I was trying to say, "Is there another way?" He's like, "Go through them." And so, as soon as I took my step, that okay, Lord, I'm going to go through them. As soon as I took the step, a bowl of blood was poured on me. I mean, I was covered in blood. I was so covered in blood. Once I was covered in blood, those people shouted, the blood, and they all disappeared. <laughs> they said, that is his blood. And they all disappeared. Now, what happened, I saw them disappearing. They, find, they were trying to find the ground to enter and hide. And I asked the Holy Spirit, why are these people hide running? Because now I, I'm not in the vision. I don't know that this is the blood of Jesus. I just know that blood was poured upon me. So it's like they were hiding because they, were, they felt like, you know, guilty. They felt guilty. That blood reminds them they are the ones who killed that person. It, no, they, they told me in the dream, it was told me because the blood is evidence. The blood is criminal evidence. And I was like, that was the first time I saw the power in the blood. See what the blood of Jesus does. It accuses the enemy. It accuses the accuser. Once he sees the blood, he wants to disappear. Because he knows, he's reminded of what he did to Jesus. Of what he did, he tried to do to Jesus. His judgment is upon that blood. If you even think about the old covenant, if you take somebody's life, your life must go. So when they see the blood of Jesus, the accuser is accused. It was the first time I saw that in my dream. I was like, wow, Holy Ghost. The power in the blood of Jesus. That's why you, you see the blood of Jesus is so sacred. In hell, they don't want to mess with it. 
They're like, go. That means you are in bondage. If you go near that person, you go near that blood. So they don't touch you. They don't want to touch you because they don't want evidence on their hands. They did this to the king of glory. Now, the blood of Jesus, as soon as I went through that place, I was so, like, I just felt there was this guy who was waiting for me. He had a gift in his hand for me. But he carried me up, with, filled with that blood, and spun me around like a five-year-old. And I was so excited because I'm like, I miss being spinned around, you know. <laughs> he spun me around like a five-year-old. And I felt like it was my Lord. I felt so comfortable in his hands. Now the Lord of glory told me, he said, it's the blood of Jesus. It's a reproach to the enemy, but it's an attraction to me. Because it's my blood. If you see as a parent, if you see your child's blood, you're like, bam. But if you see for the children's blood, you're like, ah. I want to touch where my gloves, isn't it? You can touch any other person's blood without gloves. That person is strange to you. That person is not part of you. But the blood of your child, <laughs> the blood of your own, you touch without gloves. It's your blood. Says that is the image I wanted you to get. I carry you filled with blood because it is my blood. So that which is a reproach to the enemy is an attraction to me. I want you to stand up on your feet and cover yourself with that blood. I cover yourself with that blood. Cover Miracle Center. Cover your children. Cover your family. Worship him. We are ready. Knowing the attraction that that blood gives to us. Daddy comes to carry you. Whenever he sees that blood. Gande kalambo shihalandola. We worship you this morning. King of glory. We honor you. The accuser is accused. The accuser is accused, condemned, and judged because of the blood that is over our lives. Because of the blood that is over our lives. He is accused. He is judged. He stands condemned already. He stands condemned already. Oh Lord our God. How excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your power. How excellent is your greatness. Yeah, man. That's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power. In the blood of the Lamb, there is power, 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 wonder-working power in the precious blood of Sing, there is power, there is power, 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 wonder-working power in the blood, in the blood. Freedom in the blood of the land. There is freedom, freedom, wonder working freedom in the precious blood of the land. There is power, 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 wonder We declare power, power, wonder-working power, the precious blood of the Lord. The power to save from sin, there is power, 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 wonder-working power. In the 
you power, power, wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. There is power, power, there's wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. He conquered Satan. There is power, big power. In the blood, Jesus, the Lamb of God, there's power in His blood. Power to reconcile, power, power. In the precious blood, oh, there is power. Power in the blood, power in the blood, power, power, wonder working in the precious blood of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for sharing that powerful word with us. I hope you receive power. Believe that there's power. Power to save. Power to free. Power to reconcile. Power in that name. Hallelujah.
name. Your name is a playmaker. Jesus, to you belong all power. To you belong all power. Jesus, whenever I call your name, yes, you make a way for me. Sing like you believe your name. Your name. Jesus, to you belong all power. To you belong all power. Jesus, whenever I call your name, you Your name is a waymaker. Even louder, your name, your name. Joy 
your victory Jesus we dance for your victory God 2,000 years ago and more but your victory prevails it goes on and on it goes on and on it goes on and on we hail you God we hail you Jesus hallelujah 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 Call my help, Jesus. Tell your name, Jesus. Say by day, Jesus. All the way, all the way. Yeah. We gonna help, Jesus. Tell your name, Jesus. Tell by day, all the way, all the way. We gonna help. We gonna help you the way, all the way. 
Yes, we call the head. Hell, your name. Day by day. Day by day. On the way. On the way.
times and seasons in your hands you call for light out of darkness you don't need a man to be the God you are but you have chosen Oh Lord, your own. You've got times and seasons in your hands. You've got times and seasons in your hands. You call for light out of darkness. You call for light out of darkness. You will be the man to be the God. You will go, you will go, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God, you are God. Yes, you are from beginning to the end. There's no place for that you You are called all by yourself. You are called from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are called all by yourself. God, from beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are called all by yourself. You are called, you are called. Yes, you are from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God. You were God, you were God. Yes, you God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You were God by yourself. 
praise the God who stands uniquely my spirit exalts the one who stands by himself oh my soul sing praises to the one who created the beginning and he made the end my spirit exalts the God who stands unchallenged oh my soul praise the one who stands undefeated oh my heart pour out your song to the God who made who despite his greatness chose you despite his bigness he left his throne and he came down for you my soul exalt him my spirit sing his praise Oh, my spirit say you're grateful to him. Oh, my soul says you're grateful to the king of kings. All the older gods, they have mouth, they cannot speak. But you are the most high God. And you speak and it comes to pass Hallelujah. All the other gods They have mouth They cannot speak You are the most I You speak and it comes to pass All the other gods They have hands not touch you are the most I got you touch us and we are home hallelujah hallelujah give you the glow give you the glow you are the most I got you speak and it comes to pass they are the works of men You are the only God There is no like you The works of men Oh, you are the only God. There is none like you. All the, all the, all the, all the, all the. 
To whom then will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare him to? The workman knelt at the graven image, spread it with gold, cast into silver. Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Hallelujah. Who has understood from the foundations of the earth? He seated upon the circles of the earth. And the inhabitants of the earth are like grasshoppers before him. He spreads out his glory. And the princes are brought to nothing. To whom then will you liken? Or who is his equal? Yes, the man, the God. She and I grow is grow is like it. Glorious. He's fully praised. Yeah. He's doing wonders. He's doing wonders. He's doing wonders. He's doing wonders. Yes, he's doing wonders. Doing wonders. Doing wonders. I'm born to die. Shout of praise unto the Lord. A shout of praise to the Lord. We worship you, King of Glory. We exalt your name. We exalt your name, Jesus. We exalt the Lord God. We magnify King Jesus. Yes, the God of wonders. We magnify your name, Jesus. We glorify your name. The God who just used in wonders yesterday. You are doing wonders today. You continue to do wonders today. Rebaka Shankar Rebaham. Lelelelele. 
Oh, Santa Bacam, we magnify your name, Jesus. We exalt your name. We worship you, King Jesus. We adore you, Lord. Be glorified. Be glorified in this place. Yes, Lord, we thank you for the wonders that we are seeing. We thank you for the wonders that you're doing. Lord, we thank you, God, because you're doing wonders in our families. You're doing wonders in the church. You're doing wonders in the nation. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, Lord, because we serve a God who is at work. We serve the God who is working. We serve the God of wonders. The God who answers prayer. The God who does wonders. The God of supernatural intervention. Father, we glorify your name. We exalt your God. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The God who is, who was, who is to come. We thank you, God, because you were slain before the foundation of the world. The church rise up and say, Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty. Father, we worship you. Yes, Lord. Amen. Come on, shout a lot. Amen. Come on, shout as you believe it. Amen. May your amen be louder than your neighbor. Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can take your seat. Oh, we worship you, King of glory. We thank you for the cloud of glory in this place. Lord, we thank you for that which you are doing, oh Lord. Oh, the God of wonders, we worship you. Yes, Lord, you're doing wonders, Lord. Um, turning impossibility to possibilities. Uh, Lord, we thank you, God, that which your doctors have said no. Our God is saying yes. Um, that report that you've received, our God is a God of wonders. Um, Lord, we thank you because you're a God of miracles, Lord. Um, Lord, we worship you because indeed we serve a God um, who can see, who can speak. Um, Lord, we thank you, God, because you're the God um, who sits on the throne and you reign. Um, you reign over the earth. You reign our lives. You reign over the church. Father, we exalt you, God. Um, we thank you for what you're doing in our midst. Um, it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Um, the wonders of God is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, we worship the King of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you for the clouds that are in this place. We thank you for the angels, the 24 living creatures. going to collect our titan offering the spirit of worship if you need an envelope just raise your hand the ushers if you need a pen just raise your hand as well if you're watching us online you can donate via donation.cmfimd.com you can donate via cash app via zelle via paypal If you're writing a check, you can write it to CMFI, standing for Christian Missionary Fellowship International. Just some announcement for those who use PayPal for their online for, for their online donation. PayPal had changed its policy, so for every transaction, there's a fee attached to it starting August. So just to let you know. I've I have trans I've changed from PayPal to Zelle now. Zelle and Cash App don't um, we we don't pay a fee. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, God, for the privilege to give, Lord. We thank you, God, for those who are giving online and those who are giving in the building. Lord, we thank you, God, even as we are counting this money this morning, Lord, it will multiply. Lord, we thank you, God, because that wonders that we are seeing in this place, it will continue even as the accounting team is administrating and counting the money. 
we thank you oh god because this will be used to advance your kingdom in west from westminster towards the ends of the earth lord lord we thank you oh god for your purposes that will be accomplished Lord, we thank you, God, for the heavens that are open. We thank you, God, for those who are giving sacrificially, for those who are giving with generosity, for those who are giving to you. We pray, oh God, a hundredfold return in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, oh, thank you, God. We have come to give because you have blessed us, oh God. From with a heart of worship, Lord, we say thank you for the privilege to give and to advance the work, oh God, and from Westminster toward the ends of the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shout, Amen. Amen. Feel free to come forward. We shout the great ovation, O oh God of creation, you are holy, O oh God of the heavens, we tremble at your praises, O oh God of the heavens, you are O oh God of creation, we shout a great ovation. O oh God of creation, you are holy. O oh God of the heavens, we tremble at your praises. O oh God of the heaven, you are holy, O oh God of creation, we shout a great ovation, O oh God of creation, you Praise the Lord. Come on, church. Praise the Lord. If you are alive in this place, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath in this place praise the living God. Hallelujah. We thank God for the series that we have been in of the Holy Spirit and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who watched the service on Friday? If you can raise your hand if you watched on Friday or if you're present here. Oh my goodness, there's some repentance to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, please, if you can, before coming on Sunday, just take time to watch the, the sermon because it's a continuation of the series. Who can remember what we learned last Friday? We talked about the gift, the different gifts. We talked about the gift of mercy, the gift of leadership, the gift of service, yes, giving, Gift of help. Gift of celibacy. Someone remember that one. <laughs> Gift of administration. Yes, mercy. So mercy, leadership, celibacy, giving, help, administration, and service. We learned that the fruit of the, the, fruit of the Spirit are based on your walk with God. Whereas the gift is based on you seeking And uh, we, we talked about the different, the fruit grow by watering. We talked about our fellowship with the Holy Spirit and us feeding on the word. Amen. So it's a, it's a whole series. So we will be uh, having curriculum based, based on those. Hallelujah. So that as the word is being released, we are doers of the word of God. Hallelujah. We're not just hearers of the word. We thank God that this, I mean, it's been, it's been more than, I think five years since we were waiting this message. Hallelujah. 
So we thank God that God, it's, 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 it's not by mistake that we are, we are on this message now. Hallelujah. This is the Kairos time. Hallelujah. This is an assigned time. Amen. Tell to your neighbor, ask your neighbor, are you ready for the word this morning? Are you ready for the word this morning? Come on with the round of applause. Let's welcome Bishop Robinson. Come on. Let's thank God for the anointing that is of God on his life. We pray that, Lord, as the word is being released, we pray that we will cease the word in the name of Jesus Christ. That which you are saying to the church right now. And we take action. We'll be doers of your word, not only hearers. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is great. Our God is great. Tell your neighbor, God is great. Raise your hands and give God the glory. Amen. He's a good God. He's a very good God. And his presence is here. It's just wonderful to be in God's presence. And um, tell your neighbor, I'm happy you are here. So you are in the right place at the right time. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. Some of you already know, but I just want to announce the fact that uh, our YouTube channel has been suspended for, yes, um, because of the Friday. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't have to rejoice. <laughs> So, no, uh, what I'm saying is that it was suspended because of our Friday service. The last Friday service. Um, so, I want you to understand that uh, we are in other channels also, but um, the suspension is for a week. And it's like, uh, we want to give you the last warning and all those things. So, so I just want you to understand that... Um, we have other, other channels. Some of you watching online, we are presently on Rumble. We are streaming live on, in Rumble. And also, that's why you had to get our app. Because we are live in the app and we are live in Facebook. Those three. Um, three, I don't know, is there more? Those are the three? App, Facebook, and Rumble. Praise the Lord. So we are there. Amen? And I, we need people who are working with us, who carry our, our all, because we have to remove all our, not remove, sorry. We have to download all our messages. Amen? Trans transfer all our messages. So we need technical people who know how to do it to help us. Uh, working with our youth pastor Goloa and we'll transfer uh, make sure that we we download all our mail because if once they reach that level anything just happened they just cut you and you all you lost everything we don't want to lose all our messages we want to keep our messages so to do that we have to get them download amen we have to download every method must be used to preach the gospel Hallelujah. Every method must be used to preach the gospel. And as I'll be sharing on the gifts of the Spirit today, this is part of it because I went back to the message on um, Friday, Friday, yesterday morning. As I was watching, the Lord told me, call him to take off a few things because I knew they had sent us a warning that if we ever mention vaccine or something like that. Yes. So, I, so they, they said... They said, uh, tell, I, I should have obeyed the Lord and, and asked that we should cut it off. But we did not. But somehow, I just said that I can tell uh, our youth pastor on Sunday. You see, when you say you want to tell your youth pastor on Sunday, that was a big mistake. When God speaks, you must obey. Amen. The Lord told me, handle it. And I did not. So please forgive me. Uh, amen. So, the importance of hearing the voice of God and the importance of acting when you hear God's voice. Amen. It's so crucial. Tell your neighbor, it's crucial. 
Because these people don't want us to discuss every aspect. We'll discuss it in, in Rumble and our app and other things. We'll say what we like in Rumble and our app and our, what they call it? Facebook. But we'll keep YouTube to preach the gospel. Because just to the Jew, you become as a Jew in order to win the Jew. Amen? So because of that, we'll cut off the things which we talk on YouTube. We'll just use it to preach the gospel, the gospel plain and simple. And rumble and the rest. Many men of God have been pushed out of YouTube now. You know that we are not the first. Many men of God. So the other channels will be used to proclaim what we believe. Because they, they will not be censored. But YouTube, we have to use it for one reason only. The preaching of the gospel. Because there are people in YouTube who are not in Rumble. Because since Rumble is new. We must reach them for Jesus' sake. So we have to be wise. Amen. So that's the only thing we will use it for now. Hallelujah. So are you ready? Are you ready for the word? Okay. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor. Get ready. God is here. Say, God is here. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory be to God. We love you, Lord. We honor you. Open your Bible with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. From verse 1. Verse 1 to 11. Can we read? If you are there. Now concerning spiritual gifts. Say with me concerning spiritual gifts. Let's stand up and just ask the Holy Spirit to reign. Spirit of God, we love you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We give you the, the worship. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. There is none like you, blessed Holy Spirit. You alone are God. You alone are God. And there's no one compared to you, Lord. We bless your name. We honor you. We give you the glory. You are worthy to be praised. We love you. We worship you. We honor you. From generation to generation, you are God. Spirit of God, be exalted. Be exalted. Thank you because you are speaking to us this morning. And your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can sit down, please. So now concerning... Let's read together. One, two, three, go. Brethren. I do not want you to be. Amen. If there is one thing God has insisted that you and I should not be ignorant is the gifts of the Spirit. But I asked last Friday who can name the nine gifts of the Spirit very fast. Only one person did. I don't know if there were people who could do it and they were quiet. <laughs> but one person did. But when it Come, when it came to the fruits of the Spirit, there were more people. So God is telling you, don't be ignorant when it comes to the gifts of the Spirit. You and I need the gifts of the Spirit. Amen? Amen. You need the gifts of the Spirit. Say with me, I need the gifts of the Spirit. Amen? We have to flow in the gifts of the Spirit. They are not a choice, they are a must. I repeat, they are not a choice. They are a must. Say with me, they are a must. Amen? So, if you don't flow in the gifts of the Spirit, Christianity will be a struggle. A huge struggle. And uh, you struggle in and out and out. And Christianity will be very difficult. Because there will be things which the Lord will want to tell you. But since you don't flow in the gifts, you have not even developed your ability to listen to the voice of the Lord. It's a difficult thing. Amen? I share the story of, um, of uh, 
a brother, uh, Bishop Nwaka, who was driving in, um, on the road, and the Lord told him, change lane. Change. Just, that's all. Change lane. Didn't give him any information. Sometimes you want to hear the information. Because the rebellious spirit inside was in, of man will say, why? Just say, change lane. And you know what? He changed. As he changed lane, 30 seconds later, something broke from the other, the, the car that was in front of him, the truck. And if he was there, it would have been a disaster. You know, there are cases where things have broken off cars and the people, because they could not avoid it, went through it. And what happened was that it burst the gas and the car, all of them died. It has happened many times. So when you see something falling from the next car, keep away. <laughs> so, but there was nothing he could see that would break out of the car. But the Lord just told him, move, change the lane. And the moment he changed, 30 seconds later, it happened. Just to tell you, simple obedience can save your life. Amen? Simple obedience can save your life. So the Lord is saying he doesn't want you to be ignorant concerning the gifts of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Verse 2. Let's read together. You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols, however you were led. Gentiles carried away. The, one of the easiest, one of the ways, the things that hinder the gifts of the Spirit is the worship of the devil. It means that if you have generational strongholds where your ancestors worship the false gods, what happens is that it makes him, that ancestor and his descendants dumb. It means that it makes them um, not able to hear the voice of God. When you deal with those generational strongholds, God opens your eyes and your spiritual eyes and your spiritual senses to hear God's voice. Sometimes when um, uh, people are struggling to hear the voice of God or either you are hearing a miss is based on the fact that there are generational strongholds that are hindering you. It keeps you blind. That's why the, boy, the Bible had to mention this. It says, you know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols. However, they were led. Dumb idols. The dumb idols are one of the hindrances. I mean, it's, uh, the idols are one of the hindrances that hinder each person or many people from listening or from flowing in the gifts of the Spirit. Sometimes you need deliverance to be able to flow in the gifts of the Spirit. Are you getting what we are saying? You need what? Deliverance to be able to flow in the gifts of the Spirit. So, it says, dumb idols. Say with me, dumb idols. So you must ask yourself, are the spirits of dumb idols hindering my reception of the voice of God? And I want you to meditate on this. If you flow, that's why you see generations of believers, let's say they call it third generation of believers, easily hearing God's voice and the Lord appearing to them easily. Something has happened. For example, take the case of my children. They, when uh, my wife was sharing with you how the Lord Jesus appeared to them, to see the Lord Jesus and talk with the Lord Jesus when they were young, when they were small, easily. Most often, generations of dealing with idols open the eyes of, 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 your, um, of your children or grandchildren. You get what I'm saying? That's why you see some children seeing Jesus and you have not seen. <laughs> they easily just see Jesus. He appears, he tells them something and the rest. But you have cried out for years. There are idols that need to be dealt with. Because they make you dumb and blind. You must 
con uh, consistently command and destroy those demonic altars and idols that were erected to fight you from approaching the, the living God. Let me tell you, people of God, your sin doesn't end with you. It, 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 it continues to the fourth generation. It means what my grandparent did can affect me. Amen? If they worship idols or they were involved in the occult, it can affect you. So if you want to flow in the gifts of the spirit, you must renounce Freemason, Resecration, all those things that some of your ancestors might have been involved with. I want to make your job easy. Get rid of it. It's not that God doesn't want to reveal things to us. It's that we have scales put by demon worship. And one thing Satan will do for he will want you never, never to flow in the gifts of the Spirit. Because nothing reveals his kingdom like the gifts of the Spirit. Nothing reveals the, his walkings and his evil like the gifts of the Spirit. If you are flowing in the gifts of the Spirit of lesser descending of Spirit, you can know, you can see in the realms and see spirits manifesting in people. Satan hates that. Because when you see it, you can deal with it. Amen? Somebody can come in front of you. You know this, is the, this person has the spirit of this. I share with you how I think the, uh, the Morphys are watching. When I ministered there in the church, there were the first time I met the Morphys. The moment she came close to me, I knew exactly what she was struggling with. I just said, uh, Sister, um, Sister Elena Morphy. She came, I just said, who has cursed you? She was shocked. But I did not know anything. I have never met them before. I just knew what was, what was operating. It's a curse that needs to be broken. And that curse was the curse of accidents. And as I broke the curse, commanded the demons to come out, to fail, and then also we dealt with the demon of, uh, of cancer. Because by that time she was diagnosed with whether stage 4 cancer or something. Had no idea. Commanded the spirit, demon of cancer to come out. The cancer came out. Doctors were shocked. But the main thing was that she's still alive and strong. Amen. Amen. And from that day, accident stopped. She was having an accident every week. Every week there was an accident. Every week. So the, on that, so the ability to see, what, to see the type of spirit that is tormenting an individual is, the, is what they call the gift of descending of spirit. And somebody who has... Uh, uh, a minister of deliverance like us need that gift. Sometimes we pray for somebody the Lord will tell me there's still a spirit of this. Get it out. And the moment I call that spirit, the person will shout. The reason is because the Lord showed me there is this spirit. Get it out. Amen? So descending of spirit is a must. Once you flow in the gifts of the spirit, you are flowing above the devil. The devil wants you to stay in the natural realm. When you go higher, you go higher than him and you can command his work destroyed. So Satan, the first thing he, he does when he has invaded a life or a family, let's say your fathers or your ancestors or your grandparents worship the devil, what the devil does is that the first thing is that he gives them blindness. He makes sure that they are spiritually blind and spiritually dumb. Why? Because he knows one day he may lose them. And the first thing he must keep is to keep them from seeing in the realm of the spirit and, from make, and to make them dumb to, the, to spiritual truths. So they can serve God for many years, mature, walk with God, but they have no spiritual experience. Are you getting what I'm saying? They can serve God. They can love the Lord and the rest. Others are seen in the spirit. Others are flowing in the gifts of the spirit. But they cannot flow. And the reason why they cannot flow is because they are flowing. They are struggling with dumb idols. Amen. The Lord spoke to me today when I was praying and reading this verse. Share with my children one of the hindrances to the release of the gifts of the spirit. Dumb idols. Amen? 
Praise the Lord. Verse 3. It says, let's read together. Everyone read aloud, aloud. Open your eye, read aloud. Let's read with strength. Amen. There's power in the word of God. There's power. Let's read aloud. One, two, three, go. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accused. And no one can say that Jesus Christ is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, except by the Holy Spirit. You can't proclaim Jesus as Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. It means that the Holy Spirit is not a choice, it's a must. Christianity without the Holy Spirit is boring. And I'm telling you, when something is boring, I don't want to do anything with it. I love life. If you don't, if you like to be bored and miserable, it's your own. For me, I like, I love life. I thank God for life. I don't love boring stuff. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Therefore, it has to be carried with the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, during the elections and during the times we were extremely very bold, isn't it? Do you know how much I sought the Lord? Because when you are speaking controversial things, you must, it must be carried with power. It must be backed with power or else it will, it, 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 or else it will break. Are you getting what I'm saying? I had to cry out to the Lord. And the days when I knew I have not waited on the Lord, I avoided much of it. God must back you when you are dealing with things that can be resisted. If God doesn't back you, don't speak. The Holy Spirit is not a choice, it's a must. You must be backed by power. Everybody, if you are ministering in the kingdom, you must be backed by power because it's not your ministry. It is his ministry. Tell your neighbor, you must be backed by power. The Lord must back you. Amen? The Lord must back you. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. Say with me, the Holy Spirit. I sense the angels of God all over this place. I worship you, Lord, for what you are doing. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. You are worthy, great God. When Jesus is proclaimed, the Lord is glorified. Hallelujah. The King of glory is here. The King of glory is here. Hallelujah. And his name alone will be exalted. The gospel must be preached in the power of the Holy Spirit. The gospel must be proclaimed in the power of the Holy Spirit. When it fails the, the, what, the standard of the Holy Spirit, we have, we have betrayed the cross. So I ask each one of you, because the Lord will begin to use each one of us. Please, I plead with you in Jesus' name. Make sure you spend time with God and you are backed by the Holy Spirit. It is indispensable to be backed by the Holy Spirit. When you get out to the street there, it's not time to pray. It's time to roar like a lion. But there is a time to wait upon the Lord and you cannot avoid it. You must wait upon the Lord until the anointing comes. When you speak, God backs you and the people know God is backing it. Somebody told me uh, at a youth conference uh, and it, it has happened many times. He said, I, I even want to resist what you are saying because I did not like it but I could not resist it. He did not like what I was saying. He wanted to resist it but he could not. The power of God. 
breaking forth resistance. He said, the authority in which you were speaking, I just could not, I just could not resist it. So therefore, child of God, as I pray for myself, Father, may that authority increase. Because you'll be able to minister to more people if your authority increases. Yes, yes, yes. Even the people who don't want what you are saying. Amen. So with me, the Holy Spirit. The secret of Christianity. Hallelujah. He alone is the secret. Once you are with him, the power flows. Roko now let's go to the other verse there are diversities verse 4 there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit there are diversity of gifts but the same spirit who is the one who carries the resources of the father and the son the holy spirit the holy spirit is the one the custodian, the custodian of the resources of God. It means he has the storehouse of the goods. If you want some nice, nice um, um, candy and chocolate and nice stuff, some nice cake, the, the good stuff, the good stuff of the Holy Ghost. The good stuff of the Godhead. Somebody say we don't need that. No, just understand my sweet candy today. I'm not. My wife is trying to bring her natural things into it. <laughs> Women are funny sometimes. They say oh, I need to tell her get into the spirit of the message. <laughs> I'm not telling you to go and eat a candy. Please don't touch candy in Jesus' name. So let me say it well before I get into trouble. Don't touch candy. Leave candy alone. But I'm saying the sweet things, the good stuff of the great God is in the hands of the Holy Spirit. He has the key of the storehouse of God. Your relationship with him releases the storehouse to you. If this is the only thing I said today, it's enough for today. Understanding the Holy Spirit unveils and reveals the mysteries of the goodness of God. Amen. And how God has bestowed all spiritual gifts in him. That's why they are called the gifts of the Spirit. Say with me, the gifts of the Spirit. Shout it, the gifts of the Spirit. Amen? They are of the Spirit. They are not of you and I, they are of the Spirit. They are given by the Holy Spirit. They are not called the gifts of Jesus. They are not called the gifts of the Father. In the Godhead, you must understand the function of each of them. If you miss it, you miss it. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. Say with me, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So building a relationship with the Holy Spirit is not a choice, it's a must. Hallelujah. So diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Shout with me the same spirit. Amen. Now the Lord went on to explain the, 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 the part of the Lord Jesus, which is ministry gifts. Now in verse 5, it says what? Let's go to verse 5. There are differences of ministries by the same Lord. Jesus is the custodian of the ministries of God. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastors, and teachers are given by the risen Lord. When he ascended, he gave gifts unto men. He is the one who gave the gifts of men and as I explained to you the five ministry gifts apostles prophets evangelists and you must put them in that order apostles prophets evangelists pastors teachers the others are important you get to understand when we talk on these gifts put them in that order they are all given by Jesus and they are irrevocable 
Amen? It means that, and as I explained, those gifts, you are that gift. An apostle, an evangelist, and the rest, you yourself is the gift to the church. Amen. You cannot separate the gift from you. Your, your, your inner being is built to manifest that gift. Your temperament, talent, all combined together to make you a prophet. Amen? Are you getting what I'm saying? And then soon we'll study, on, we'll study the issue of talent. Say with me, talent. We have people with various talents manifesting their talents here. The Kemper children are very talented. Amen. They played the music here. See what Destiny was playing. You know how young Destiny is? You'll be shocked. Such a little girl with skills. That is talent at work. If it's not talent, you stand there and try. What we'll do is that we'll just close the service and say, brother or sister, get out, please. Know your ministry. <laughs> Amen? Amen? And our drummer is talented. Amen. Fanel is a talented man. Where is he? He is talented. He's what? When he was not here for one month, he saw how we suffer. Today he was here. And everything changed. Just his playing changed everything. Talent matter. Even in worship. He is very talented. The, the brother... <laughs> the brother, our youth pastor, Galua... <laughs> He tries. <laughs> no, I'll leave it at that level so that he doesn't get, he doesn't ask me questions after service. <laughs> he tries. Sometimes I, I almost feel I say that. <laughs> Please, can, can you concentrate on the media? Rakada Rabba Shandara, I hope you still love me. <laughs> But I'm saying is uh, because he tries, but the talented one is his younger brother. When Fanel starts playing, everything changes. You, you can even sense the anointing. Isn't it? Everything changes. The playing is different. The, the, the ability to do. So people have their various gifts and talent and abilities. Amen. So we we'll study the issue of talent also towards the end of when, when we finish the gifts of the spirit. You will be amazed that many of us have talents we are not using. The, the church of God suffers for buried talent. The ability to make use of your talent. Thank God that when we needed somebody, there was nobody to play the drum and Fanel chose to play it. That's how we discover him. And he plays so well that there was somebody. I did not know that some people can get PhD in drumming. I was shocked. Well, it was a master's. But he was planning to do a PhD. That's what I heard. Maybe you did not hear. <laughs> the person has a master's in drumming. I think he wanted to move to the level of PhD. That's the part my wife did not hear. The person visited our church and saw Fanet playing. You know what he said? He was shocked. This man did not go to school for this. He is gifted. That's what he told us. He said he is gifted. Even when the song is changed, the way he changed is a, is a gift. The guy was shocked. He was asking if he went to school. I said, no, no school. The Lord helped him. The gift, Hallelujah. As the Bible says, I've anointed Bezalel. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Even your talents need an anointing on your talent. To God be the glory. To carry it to the next level. Hallelujah. So that which you have as a talent needs an anointing on that talent. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we should pray that our youth pastor will receive an anointing on that. 
Kanarabaka, Sharaka Robaka. Today is your day of picking. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Do you still love me? Okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I asked everybody. I didn't ask him. <laughs> Let's go. Let's continue. Verse, you know, no, you are not in verse 2. They are, okay, let's continue. Therefore, it's verse 5, please. The different, there are differences of ministry. Say with me, ministries. But the same Lord. Differences of ministries, but the same Lord. Say with me, the same Lord. Shout to the same Lord. Amen. Now, you go to the place of God the Father. Verse 6. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. All the activities is what they call the works of God. Different ministries, Benny Hinn ministries, and the rest, all those works are the works of God. Miracle center work and the planting of what we are doing there. And we, you had the victory. We'll soon be moving to that land. Hallelujah. We'll soon purchase that land and be moving. And we'll begin this year. But in six months, we'll build. And we are trusting God for all the money to come. And all Welcome Quest Church planting is work of God. It is the activities of the Father. Are you getting it? They are the works of God. That is why the grace of God is on it and all the churches we have planted are doing well. Bishop Mwaka told me that he struggled a lot with church planting. There was a battle. You plant and not send people. But when World Conquest came in, all our churches are succeeding. Because the grace of God is upon it. And once the grace of God is on it, it prevails. So the churches we are planting, they are succeeding, they are prevailing, they are growing. Some have even split into two. Because of not, not, not splitting in bad way, just that they were too, too big. <laughs> I don't hear and say, church split, no, no, no. <laughs> we are talking about multiplying. Because they grew until they were over 300, so they had to, they had to make it two, two assemblies. So I'm saying, those are the work of God. Full gospel mission, the work of God. CMFI, well, international, the work of God. Call any ministry. Amen? So they are the activities of the Father. But the various personal ministries of the call ones are the work of the Lord Jesus. Do you see the differences here? Are you understanding it? This will help you. This will, this will make you happy. <laughs> Amen. So that you can understand that you are so loved in a way that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are very involved in your life. Do you know that even in your salvation, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are very involved? The first thing about the idea of you being saved is from the Father. For God so loved the world. That he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The father. Who convicts of sin? The Bible says clearly, you cannot believe except the spirit convicts you of sin. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot believe in Jesus. The Holy Spirit is involved in the conviction. In getting you to know your need for Jesus. He convicts you, and then you have to receive Jesus. You cannot receive the Father and go to heaven. You cannot receive the Holy Spirit. You have to receive Jesus. There is only one name given among men by which we must be saved, and that name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He alone is the author of eternal salvation. You have him, you have salvation. 
And you cannot have salvation without the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And you could never have belief without the Father sending his son. So the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit get very involved in your salvation. How precious you are to God. You are precious to God. Say with me, I am precious to God. Speak aloud, I am precious to God. You are so precious that for to save you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are totally involved. Amen. You are here because of that. The Father was involved in your salvation. The Holy Spirit was involved. The Son clearly involved. Because you can never go to heaven without receiving Jesus. Reject Jesus. You go to hell whether you believe in anything. He is the only way to heaven. Hallelujah. Shout to me, he's the only way to heaven. Amen. So verse 7. Now, now we are starting. It says what? Let's read together. One, two, three, go. Of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. Say with me. The first part of it is manifestations. Shout with me manifestations. Amen. If you get, understand this word manifestation, it helps you understand how the gifts work, work. And I want you to listen carefully. When we talk about spiritual gifts, I plead with you, listen carefully. You may miss one key that may be the key to unleash the gifts in your life. Always ask the Lord, where is my, and the, and the key, your own key may be different from my key. So listen carefully when we talk about this, these basic keys. Amen? See with me, manifestations of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. So the first is manifestation. Shout manifestations. I want you to shout until we hear your voice. That's good. Hallelujah. You are the best. <laughs> Praise Amen. the Lord. Manifestation. Amen. It means that the spirit of God, there must be manifestations. Shout with me, manifestations. Manifestation. Again, manifestations. Amen. Amen. Then because this, this brings us to the definition of spiritual gifts. And what are spiritual gifts? They are brief, say, they are brief, dramatic, brilliant, arresting manifestations that happened and are finished. Spiritual gifts are what? They are brief, dramatic, and I want you to write it. Brief, dramatic, brilliant, arresting manifestations that happened and are finished. They happened and they, they are gone. That is the difference between the gifts of the spirit and the ministries of, of uh, and the ministry gifts of the Lord Jesus. Ministry gifts stay with you. You are a prophet in the morning, you are a prophet in the afternoon, you are a prophet in the evening. It doesn't change. Are you getting it? But the gifts of the spirit, they come once a while and they disappear. Let me explain you something. One day I sat in my office there and I looked outside and I saw our youth pastor. I had just finished ministry and somebody came to see me. I was still under the presence of God, and the prophetic anointing was very strong on, on me. So I could see, I could, I, could hear, I could hear the voice of God easily. So I sat there, and I saw him, and the Lord just spoke to me. It, was, it happened two weeks ago. He said, he's coming to tell you that he will not be here next week. So I wanted to find a way for him not to see me. It was that clear. He's coming to tell you he will not be here next week. Because once you are under that anointing, it's brief, it's dramatic, it's fast. You just hear the voice, it flows, you know what is happening, but when, when, I'm, when, the, when I'm out of it, I'm blank. Are you getting it? It is dramatic, it is brief, it's not just all the time. So, and I knew, I knew that he's coming to tell me that. So I was trying to make sure that I see other people and I see him last because I don't like him missing church. I need him here. So I was saying to myself, I wish. You know, 
he, at least he's still of the old school. Because generally, for those who are under authority, you don't just stay away from church. At least you tell your pastor, I won't be there today. Pastor, I won't be there today. Pray for me, I'm doing this. That's what we used to do. I never thought of leave, being out of church without letting my pastor know. It, don't, it doesn't happen. I don't even have to do anything in the church to let him know. Pray for me because once you stay out, you, you, you expose yourself to unnecessary attack. You remember Dinah? When Dinah left the group and went, what happened? Got raped. So for the devil to attack you, he keeps you out. That's the easiest way for Satan to attack you. When you, are, you stay in the body, you are protected. Amen? There is a protection in the body that I, be, I want to tell you, it is, not, it, is, it is indispensable. I don't stay here because I'm your pastor. I stay here because I need it. I also need that protection. Let nothing happen over my home in Jesus' name. <laughs> are you getting it? The body, the body is protected. All of you are protected being here. Amen. Being part of us. And even our church online, because I pray for them too. They are part of us. We are together. Amen. Amen. So you are protected. When you separate yourself, you expose yourself to an attack. So it is always good to ask for prayers or tell the pastor that you will not be there. Send a note. I won't be there. And sometimes I pray for you. I say, Father, bless him. Protect him, Lord. In Jesus' name. Wherever he is, in Jesus' name. Because I know. It's serious. Because I love you, I'll pray for you, even though I'm angry you are not here. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, but I want you to be alive. Because I love you. I don't want the enemy to attack you. Amen? So it is important you say it. Tell the minister. We grow up knowing that that should be done. So he always does it. So before, so the Lord spoke to me. He's coming to tell you this. I started avoiding to see him. Because I know if he has not told me, he will not go. I feel as somebody take the plane out of here. Take me out of there <laughs> so that he doesn't talk to me. It's okay. It was dramatic. It was dramatic, fast, and clear. When I was ministering in Germany, the word of knowledge was so much in manifestation. The moment you stand in front of me, I will see like pictures of your life. It will be so clear as I'm seeing you. And the Lord will be telling me what to say to them. And I, it was so clear. So when I finish, after we have eaten, rested, and the rest, um, we are finished and I was tired. A brother came to me, asking me, what is the Lord saying about me? He did not come during that time. Maybe he was afraid. Because surely, surely he was living in sin. Because sin was being exposed to. Yes, because there was somebody there who was living in homosexuality. The Lord told me what he was. I said it, the people, the pastor started crying. Yes, he came right there. And I sent my hand to touch him. The Lord told me, don't touch him, he's dirty. He said, because your hand alone can be something to him. I do not know what that means because I've never known that type of thing. Touching another man is strange. He came to me. <laughs> I thought he's a woman. <laughs> so, so I sent my hand to touch him. He said, the Lord told me, don't touch him. He's unclean and told me what he's unclean of. I said, brother, you need freedom from, sex, from this particular sexual immorality. You need freedom. So, and as I said that, the demon started manifesting. Demons of homosexuality are dangerous. Very dangerous. Cruel. Cruel spirit. He was tearing his clothes, almost trying to naked himself. It was horrible. Horrible sight. And they were covering him. Though. So, as I'm saying, the people were coming and the Lord would reveal to me through the word of knowledge what was happening and I would give them. So, at the end of the service, this brother came to me after I've eating and the, the, the glory is lifted. The, that anointing is lifted. He comes now and say, what is the Lord saying to me? I said, I don't know. He was shocked. I said, I'm not a soothsayer or a magician. I, don't just, I, don't, I cannot just tell you what God is saying. What is the Lord saying to me? No. I have to be under that anointing to give that message because it's not my message. He was surprised. I prayed nothing came. Yes. I prayed for him, Father. 
I, show me, Lord. If, then I, not, since God was not showing me, I just pray that God will bless him and release him. So it reveals this, what I'm sharing here. It has to be dra dramatic. It has to be what? Brilliant. And it has to come and it is finished. You don't just put it on and off. It is the ministry gifts that when they get you up in the morning, if you are an evangelist, you can preach the gospel. Get me out of sleep and I'll lead somebody to the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? The gift is part of you. It's inside of you. So you are, you are that person. Amen? And even with the prophets, sometimes they pray for something because they are not hearing at that time. Because the prophetic gift had to rely also on the uh, spiritual gifts, which are dramatic and they are not there all the time. Are you getting it? Do you understand? Sometimes I'll ask Prophet Sadu something. What is the Lord saying about this? And sometimes he'll be quiet. And sometimes he'll tell me that the Lord has not spoken to him. Well, the, the Lord sometimes will refuse to tell me things. I don't know why. And it happens with the prophesied too. The Lord has not spoken. God, the Lord, the Lord has not spoken. I pray. I'm still praying. I call the secretary. Has the Lord spoken? <laughs> he said, no. He said he's still praying. I'll just stay me quiet and leave it. But sometime immediately, God says the Lord. This is what the Lord is saying. Don't expect that when it comes to the gifts of the Spirit, you can turn it on and on. It doesn't work that way. It goes by the timings of God. God must want to speak. To speak. You can't force him to speak. He is God. He is not man. He cannot be manipulated. Amen? So therefore, since most prophets depend on the gifts of the spirit, because as I told you, the prophetic must have three of the vocal gifts or the revolutionary gifts. Three of them. If you don't have three of them, if you have just prophecy, you are not a prophet. You are an exhorter. You must have the three gifts in operation so that you can function in the prophet office. When we talk about the prophetic office, you understand it better. The prophetic office requires three gifts in operating in your life. Three, three of the spiritual gifts in the vocal or revelation. Amen? So shout with me manifestation. Amen. So it manifests, but it doesn't stay forever. That's why the gifts of healing can be manifesting at a particular time. Don't wait till they finish, then you start looking for the evangelist to pray for you. It is, it is important you receive it at that time. Some people quote the case of um, this man of God, or, or a Robert, he said that if it happened like that, maybe that's, it can happen to me. That was a one case, and it is uniquely that way, because that lame man could not go to the service. What happened was that he had finished preaching. Many people were being healed. He had prayed for people. People were being healed in their numbers. As he was going back, there was a lame man sitting somewhere, uh, uh, and, the, and the parents came and blocked the road, begging that he should pray for their person. He said, no, I've prayed for, he should have come to the service. I've prayed in the service, it's enough. They blocked, they, so as they were blocking him, he just, he just took his, this thing and just praised it. In the name of Jesus, heal him and ran away. He was angry. But you know what? The Lord healed the person. And the person started walking. And the Lord spoke to him. I've healed him. But it will never be recorded to your account. Because you are angry in serving me. Be careful with your attitude. You can be judged for your attitude. He said that healing will never be recorded in your account. I healed him for my sake. Not for you. In another case, a man of God was ministry. He was, he was brushing his, his, his tooth and then he had water and somebody knocked at the door. Knocked at the door. He said, I need healing. He was still in his pajamas. <laughs> and he was not happy at all. He said, he could not wait to the crusade and throw the water on him. Be healed then. And the man got healed. 
And the Lord said, because you have done that. Just like Moses. When your anger gets you to do things, be very careful. Because I've healed him. But you will not receive reward. And because of what you have done, and the way you acted, this is what will happen. So I'm telling you, God can use you even when he's angry with you. Because the Lord loves people. I want to tell you, God loves people. Amen? God loves people. Say with me, God loves people. And while we are still in this topic, I want to draw your attention to something. I was shocked to discover it by, by study and by experience. The Lord will not speak to you if you are too involved in something. If your emotions, if you are angry about something and you are, react, you are affected, God will not speak to you. If you are too involved, get the answer from somewhere else. Amen? Amen? Because once you are angry and you are too involved in it, you can hear yourself and you can hear your emotions. You must calm down. Many times I've been praying about something. I'm so angry about it and asking the Lord, the place is dark. Dark means not physical darkness. It means it is as though there is nothing, no voice, nothing. And I know his voice. I'm only hearing myself. Because <laughs> he must be able to separate his voice from you. So I'm only hearing myself. I can pray for two hours. The Lord is telling me, I can't speak to you. Your attitude is wrong. You can ask somebody to pray. I'll call something, call Brother Vleman. Can you intercede for this? And tell me what the Lord is saying. And I'll ask something else. I'm not very involved and God will speak immediately. That which I'm involved and disturbed. Maybe disturbed maybe with my wife or something. No? Karabaka, Shandaraka. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, thank you so much. She says she loves me all the way. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and I'm just disturbed. And I don't hear. The more I cry, the more I plead, the more I plead, Father, speak, Lord, speak. It doesn't happen. So, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, you must learn to host him. He is a spirit of joy. He's not the spirit of sadness. Two cannot work together except they agree. You can't work with the Holy Spirit with an attitude. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen? Many men of God discover that they cannot talk to somebody before the service. I always sometimes tell my mom, tell my wife, don't speak anything negative to me before meetings. You know why? It will affect my reception. I said, don't tell me anything negative before a service. Many men of God, whether it be Benahin, Kenneth Hagen, all these men of God that God used in the miraculous will not see anybody before a meeting. They, they don't even want to hug. No hugging. Because you can release something through a hug. Yes. Even Prophet Sadu. If you notice when he's coming to I don't hug him. And I don't even greet him. But except he sends his hand. Don't try. Don't do it. The brother once said, he just came, the brother, the, uh, the, the brother, Professor, once shared a story how so he was to me, said that somebody just came, oh, give the, the bear hug, not, not the one like this, the real one. Because I always tell people, if you don't want, you don't want to hug me, don't hug me, don't be kicking me. <laughs> don't be shoulder. I said, don't kick me like this. I don't need a kick, I need a hug. So, the bear hawk type. And what happened? 
the prophetic immediately was lifted. Yes. Contact is important. When you learn to understand the things of the spirit, you'll be surprised some of the things that are very important. Remember, a priest was not allowed to talk, to meet anybody 24 hours before he entered the temple on the day when he had to enter into the Holy of Holies. So that he does not sin in the process and die. Are you getting it? When you are complaining about something, don't tell the minister before the service. You kill the meeting. There was a thing that happened one time and we had the minister there. I was going to tell him that some bad thing that was happening, something that was happening with the service or something, the Lord told me, don't say it. Tell him after the service. So I just stay quiet. So after the service, I told Bishop Walker, he said, why didn't you tell me at the beginning? I said, the Lord stop me. That it will affect you. Amen? Your attitude matters if you want to hear from God. I insist. Or else you will hear your own voice. And you will hear your emotions. Amen? Do you know that even healing... Many men, women of God call another, Benny Hinn's wife shared the story how he, she called other men to pray for her while her husband is healing people all over the place. Do you know why? You know why? Perception. She's saying this is just my husband. That's why I've told you all that you are blessed to have a woman like my wife. The fact that my wife still receives ministry from me is a miracle. It doesn't happen. It means that she separates the anointing from the husband. Generally, most often women don't receive ministry directly from the person they are married to. They have to call other men of God to pray for them. Because they are too used to their husband. He's praying, he says, this is just my husband. Pray now. I know you, I know your weaknesses. <laughs> I know that yesterday you were angry with me. <laughs> yesterday. I'm not talking about her, please. Don't look at her. <laughs> yesterday you were angry with me. Just pray and go. <laughs> so nothing happens because they don't respect the anointing in the life of their husband. They see their husband as their husband. The perception, the perception matters a lot. You must do everything to separate him from who he is. Separate God's servant. I remember one time, God, my wife shared the story how she wanted to say something to me. And the Lord wants her. Whose servant are you talking to? I said, Karabashanda, Darabashanto. Who? Lord, thank you. <laughs> I was so blessed. I said, Father, thank you for having my back. <laughs> so the Lord spoke to her. Who seven are you talking to? I was so happy. I said, thank you. You just saved me from a bullet. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God she heard the voice of God. She stopped it immediately. So that's my servant. Don't speak to him like that. Amen? So I'm drawing your attention to something very crucial. Basic things that can hinder the flow of the gifts of the spirit in your life. Attitude. Anger. Resentment. Disappointment. Unforgiveness. Those basic attitude sins are dangerous to the gifts of the spirit. Pride. Because pride is attitude. So basic stuff that tells you. And the moment you, you are operating in that, make sure that you wait and cleanse yourself. Else you will cry out until you, you do it like the prophet of Baal. You will shout, cut yourself, nothing will happen. 
He flows in peace. The spirit of God is described as a dove. He doesn't come in tense atmosphere. He comes in peaceful atmosphere. You remember a dove. Just touch a dove and a dove will disappear. Isn't it? A dove is where? Yes. Dove. They disappear easily. Touch it. Oh. Just to tell you, when God described the Holy Spirit as a dove, he knows what he's doing. He's trying to tell you, study that, that bird. And you understand something about the Spirit. Never, never, never come with an attitude and expect to flow in the gifts of the Spirit. When I'm angry about something before I preach, I know that it will be a rough day. I'm serious. Even the anointing doesn't flow as much. I have to cleanse my mind. I have to pray for myself. I have to ask the Lord to take it away. I have to plead the blood. And the moment it is gone, then I notice sometimes I will just feel. <sighs> and then I will know I'm clothed. You know what I mean, Claude? You are clothed with his presence. It is a beautiful thing when you know you are clothed. You know he will back you. Amen? So I insist it is important. I want you to touch your neighbor. Everyone touch your neighbor. Touch your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Deal with your attitude. Make sure you are you're looking at your neighbor's eye. Everybody, everybody involved. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Those behind there. Tell your neighbor, deal with your attitude. Look at their eyes. Look at their eyes. Tell your neighbor, guard your heart. <laughs> Amen. All those online, do the same thing. Even if it's your husband, you may use the opportunity to tell him the truth. How about your wife? <laughs> you may use the opportunity to tell your wife the truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. These are crucial things that hinders the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. And then familiarity. Jesus could not do any, any miracle where in a place of his hometown. Because they know him. They say, we know your father. When do you become a prophet? <laughs> we know your mother. We know your sister. You're this small boy. You want to tell us you're not a prophet. <laughs> Familiarity. When they are used to you, when the people are used to you, it becomes contempt. Amen? It is not easy for the people to receive ministry. That is why always pray for me when I'm here that I don't get too familiar in a way that I cannot flow in the gifts. Because people have gone with me in places and they just could not recognize me. And somebody asked me, why don't you do this in church? <laughs> Sorry, you people are too familiar with me. You get what I'm saying? So familiarity. Sometimes it just, it just is like, a, it's like a, a block, a cloud. If, if you want it, it doesn't go. Because you may receive a word and then you may say, Pastor is speaking like that because he knows me. Has somebody told him? <laughs> Maybe my wife called him the other day and told him that we have this problem. <laughs> Are you getting it? But for, like in Mozambique, nobody then knew me. So it was easier. Hallelujah. The pastor was literally shouting and sh shouting, stop the service when I'm preaching to, to confirm the things I was saying. He was so shocked because of the accuracy of the word that I was giving to his people. That he would shout sometimes. He said, I've told him nothing. Amen? 
The reason is because of the fact that they did not know me. And I don't know them. So it's easy to minister. And it flows easily. So always pray for yourself that you don't get too familiar with me that you cannot receive ministry from me. Amen? Pray for yourself that way because a time is coming where you may need a miracle and that miracle is with me. Amen? Amen. So do all not to be too familiar in a way that you cannot receive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shout a shout of victory. Shout a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's continue. For the prophet of all. Say with me. The prophet of all. Shout it. The prophet of all. So spiritual gifts are not just for you. It's for others to profit. If you don't manifest the gifts of the spirit, you are selfish. I repeat. If you don't manifest the gifts of the spirit, you are hindering others from being blessed. You may not need it, but others need it. Amen? When you are working in the hospital, if you are a nurse here, do you know how you can make your patients shocked and cry and receive ministry from you? If you flow in the gifts of the Spirit, if you can just tell your patients what is happening. I sat in the plane. I tried to talk to somebody. The person was just like this. <clears throat> I said, Father, how do I share the gospel with his neighbor? <laughs> He's my neighbor. The Lord said, flow in the gifts. So, I feel, felt bad that it was a short flight. It was like from, um, from uh, uh, Zambia to South Africa. So just about one hour flight. So I just started. I said, the Lord is showing me something about you. Hmm? Then I looked. And I started telling him the things God is showing me about him. You know what happened? He shifted his chair. With tears in his eyes, he started listening. And when he started listening, that's when they started saying, they're ready to learn. I said, Father, I wish I started this one eye ago. I was only trying, how do I talk to this guy? Because the guy was just the type of person who gives you a message that stay quiet. Leave me alone. You know, you sit with somebody, you just sense the message. You don't even know. The person just gives you a message by the action. Stay in your lane. <laughs> Everybody stays on his own side. When I said something about his life and what he was going through, he turned and looked at me with tears in his eyes. Started asking. He gave me his card. He told me, can we talk? Um, he even called me later. I don't know whatever happened. I misplaced his card. But I led him to the Lord before the plane landed. He told me that he was blessed. He was changed. He was forever changed. He told me that since I met you in the plane, my life was changed. So I'm saying it is important to manifest the gift, not for yourself, but for others. For the profit of others. Shout with me for the profit of others. Shout it for the profit of others. Amen. Everyone needs you. The world needs you. The people need you. To God be the glory. Verse 8. One, two, three, go. For one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit. To another, the word of knowledge through the same spirit. Now, underline the word given. Say with me, given. Amen. You are given a gift to manifest. It's not your gift. It's the Spirit's gift. You are given a gift to manifest. So it is not something like in the case of the ministry gifts. To one, is the Bible says what? To be. Thank you. Call to be an evangelist. Call to be a prophet. Call to be an apostle. You are to be that gift. But this one, you are given a gift. That's a marked difference. Amen? You are given a gift, and you are manifesting that gift, and you must be careful to manifest that gift because if you don't 
host, the Holy Spirit, you find it difficult to manifest the gift. He does not withdraw the gift, but the channel to release the gift is blocked. You can have a gift here, but you are not functional. Amen? It's just like having a car and putting sand in the, in the gas. What will happen? It won't go. Do you have a car? Is it still a car? Why are you answering as though you are afraid? Is this still a car? What happened? You put the wrong fuel. It's the same. Do you still have the gift? But you are feeding yourself with the wrong thing. So you start the engine. It doesn't go. The problem is not God. The problem is you. Amen? Say, to me, say, say with me, to one is given. Amen? Hallelujah. 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 So you do not manifest the gift all the time. It, and it comes, it doesn't come out of your will. It comes out of the will of God. Say with me, the will of God. Shout it, the will of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now let's, let's now just read to, from now to verse 11 as we conclude. Let's go. To another faith by the same spirit. To another gifts of healing. And I want you to see the different th things there. I don't have time to go into it today, but we shall go into it when we are explaining the gifts individually. See, to another gifts of healing. CS in there. I want everyone to look at the board. Are you seeing? Are you seeing it? It's, you see the S on the... You see the S on we're on? Of healings. Gifts with S. Healings. S. It means there are many of it. Plurals. You may have the gift of healing in a particular domain. It means that you may manifest that gift. There are some people, Ken Hagen talked in his book, shared a very powerful thing in his book about a man who had a gift of healing, but particularly blind people. Almost every blind person gets healed. He prayed for the deaf and others hardly anything happened. But blind healed. So there are gifts things manifesting, gifts of healing, but different type of gifts of healing. The Holy Spirit is unique. You just choose somebody that you are the opening of the eyes. <laughs> just go and open eyes. Hallelujah. That's the wonders of the Holy Spirit. And then Kenneth Hagen talked about someone else who was concerning dumb and deaf. He was, that was his field. Even see, he, they will send deaf and deaf, deaf people to this man of God. But in other areas, he was not, he, he sees healing once a while. Amen? So that's why it is with an S. Let's continue. Verse 10. Let's read aloud. To another, the walking of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, descending of spirit. To another, different kinds of tongues. Are you seeing the, the essence in some of these things? Different kinds of tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. The last verse, 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 verse 11. Let's read. But one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing each one individually as he wills. Not as you will. You can't will the gifts of the spirit. The Holy Spirit must will them. Amen? You can't will the gifts of the spirit. The Holy Spirit must will them. Now, this is very important. Let's separate the gifts into three. What are the first? Okay, let's, let's just start. Revelation gifts. What are the revelation gifts? No, not prophecy. Revelation means they reveal something. Descending of spirit, word of knowledge, and descending of spirit, word of knowledge, and word of wisdom. Word of wisdom 
they reveal something. Say with me, they reveal something. This gives, number one is revelation gives. It's easy to remember them when you pack them into three. First is revelation. Say with me, they reveal something. Say revelation. They reveal something. We began by telling you God doesn't want you ignorant, isn't it? So as you understand this thing, you function more in them. Revelations. Revelation gives, they reveal something. They are the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, and descending of spirit. The word of wisdom reveals something. The word of knowledge reveals something. And the and descending of spirit reveals something. Amen? God has all knowledge. He chose to reveal to you a word of knowledge. In reality, in the Greek, it's a word of knowledge, not a word. A word of knowledge and a word of wisdom. Amen? God has all knowledge. He reveals something to you. Descendants of spirit. He has S because it is different dimension. You can understand it in different ways. You can descend different things when it comes to descending of spirit. Amen? Now... The power gifts. What are the power gifts? Who knows? They, and they do something. Power gifts, say with me, they do something. Shout it, they do something. So the power gifts do something. What are the power gifts? Gifts of healing, working of miracles, and the gifts of faith. Perfect. Those gifts do something. They get, they are the power engine gifts. And they are backed particularly with evangelists and apostles. If you are an evangelist, you must cry out to God for the power gifts to manifest in your life. They do something. Because an evangelist is a bulldozer. In order to bulldoze a ministry and something, you must manifest those power gifts. They are indispensable. They are, they are instruments of war. Amen? Again, power gifts are the gifts of healing, working of miracles, the gifts of faith. Next week, I'll ask you these questions. You are in the class now. I will see who will fail next week. No one, I like that. You are in the spirit. I hope you yourself don't fail. <laughs> so next week, I'll ask this same question because the Bible says, God says what? He does not want you to be ignorant. You must know it. You cannot manifest in something you don't know. And you may even be manifesting in them and you don't know and it's not good because you are not productive enough. Say they do something. Okay? The last gifts are the vocal gifts. Say with me, vocal gifts. They say something. Say vocal gifts say something. Say something. Amen? They are what? Prophecy, yes. Interpretation of tongues. And diverse kinds of tongues. Perfect. Those are the three gifts that say something. You must say it. When you are dealing with that. Amen? And they may not necessarily be revealing something. You may give a prophetic word about how the Lord is moving and how God loves you and the rest. Uh, 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 my children, I love you. I've come to be in your presence and, and the rest. And they may not necessarily reveal something. They may just be said to exhort you. To strengthen you. Amen? You understand what I'm saying? And the Lord may just tell you I love you. I was ministering somewhere. The Lord told me, go and tell that person, don't say it on the microphone. Just whisper it. That I've forgiven you. I don't know what she did. So I went. I said, the Lord told me. He has forgiven you. She started crying. Crying almost violently. God never told me. What he forgave her for. Sometimes God doesn't speak. You don't need to know. I didn't wait to ask God. What, what has she done Lord? That was just a prophetic word. <laughs> yeah, just prophecy. You know, some believers are very nosy. 
They want to know it before they act. <laughs> he just said, the Lord says he has forgiven you. I think she needed to hear that. And she was weeping and weeping. Hallelujah. And I thank God that I obeyed him. And sometimes the devil will tell you it is too simple. Forgiving him for forgiving her for what? Don't say it. The devil can whisper to you. You know that. Sometimes I'll be ministering like this, and I'll the, the Lord will be speaking something, and the devil will be trying to say that. Don't say it. It looks embarrassing. Don't say it. Like the case in Germany. The devil fought me all through. But seeing it blessed that church. Because they knew what I did not know. And, she had, he had, and the guy was not even hiding it. He had come from the state because he heard that I was ministering deliverance. He wanted to be delivered so bad. He was struggling with that sin. And the Lord exposed it. Right there. And I told him, God has told me not to touch you. I was touching everybody except him. So I'm telling you, there are times you cannot say. There are times you say. And sometimes God tells you, don't say it. You must be able to control yourself. Amen? And sometimes the Lord will reveal something about somebody to me and tell me, don't say it. I'm just revealing it so that you pray for him. And the temptation is there. We meet the person. The Lord showed me that you are struggling. <laughs> Say, so don't say it. And sometimes there will be nothing. And I share with this with you. If God puts somebody in your mind a lot during the week, God is telling you to pray for that person. Sometimes the Lord will just put somebody in my mind. Even one person who is here today, I dream about that person. Don't be asking, is it me, is it me? I dreamt about you. I'm serious. I dreamt about that person. And when I got up in the morning, I prayed for the person. I blessed. It was not a bad dream. It was a good dream anyway. But the Lord, I prayed for, I blessed the person. So when, in a week, you are sensing uh, just Sister Olivia in your, in your mind. <laughs> you just feel about Sister Olivia. Don't just say, why am I thinking a lot about this lady? Just pray. Bless her. Pray in tongues for her. Intercede for her. God is giving you a message. Pray for the person. Don't find a reason to think about the person and the devil give you a thought. But that's Sister Olivia. She needs help. <laughs> I'm serious. Because if you leave your mind idle, Satan will give you something to think. So just pray for the person. Because Satan knows he cannot, he cannot hinder you when you are praying for the person. He can no more. He, you, have, you have destroyed him. Amen. Hallelujah. Just pray for the person. So the moment you hear, you are, the, the thought of pastor come to you, pray for me. Don't be thinking anything else. Just pray. Say, Father, I bless pastor. He shall walk with God. He shall live with Jesus. And Lord, may the ministry flourish. Oh God, may the vision flourish. May this mighty move, because let me tell you, people of God, we are moving in a very important, we are taking a very important move of God. You can tell the Lord, may this mighty move be done correctly. May we build the right building. May we do the right thing. Because people have given me prophetic words, including Professor and other men of God. This will be a mighty revival in the East Coast. And a refuge for the persecuted people. It's a huge refuge. Amen? And I'm telling you, the Lord spoke to me. He said, don't be worried. You people will start your own, your own, um, they call it, no, social media. This church will start its own social media too. Other people will register there. It's coming. We will build a huge place and we'll build some out of America so that if this one has issues, the other one kick in. The vision is great. God has given us powerful visions. This one just came of recent. 
When he, he called me, he said, this morning I was praying and the Lord spoke to me, don't worry. You will have his social media. Amen? We will allow every Christian thing, you can say anything you want. In the name of Jesus. They, they will no more stop us. Amen? So I'm giving you ability to understand that God has blessed you. Say with me, God has blessed you. Say, so God has blessed me. I have the abilities of God inside of me. When I speak, things happen. I am anointed to bring things to pass in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. As I said on Friday, we are not expected to be ignorant. We are expected to know. And to know correctly, you must separate your emotions from the thing. Get involved emotionally and you will not hear God perfectly. Say, so, uh-oh. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? Are you understanding? The gifts of the Spirit are for you. They are all 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 for you. God loves you so much. He wants to give it to you. Amen. The Holy Spirit is in love with you. Because he wants to minister to people. If the Holy Spirit can heal somebody. Even when the main person praying for the person is angry. You see the goodness of the Holy Spirit. The goodness of God. He loves people. He truly loves people. Amen. Hallelujah. I was surprised when the, in one of Prophet Sadwick was talking about somebody, one sister, that she had he had a horrible didn't like that sister because that sister was doing horrible things against against him and saying all type of horrible things against his his ministry. And the Lord came and told him, He said, He said, Look at come, come, come and stand and look. And he looked in the eyes of God. The God loved that sister so much. He looked at him with my eyes. Sometimes some of our look. Is not with the looks of God. Is our look. Is our eyes. Hallelujah. So begin to Pray. Father, I must flow in the gifts of the Spirit. I renounce every wrong attitude. For God will not give you a message for somebody you don't love. You must love the person. Hallelujah. The anointing is here right now. As I'm talking, I sense his presence. The visionary and his wife will be traveling on Saturday. So this is their last Sunday. We will miss you so much. Divisioner Sona, the deputy director of judicial police, Cameron, is like what he called the assistant director of FBI in that country. He's, he has been visiting. We thank God that he and his wife love the Lord. And um, we love you so much. And many people, God has used him to open doors for us in Cameroon, and the doors are continuing, continue to be open. Amen. Sometimes God put people in a particular place as an open door for the gospel so that the name of Jesus be glorified. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you stand up please, you and your wife? The Lord has a word for both of you. Come, come in front here. Just stand, stand right there and look at me. Sister Sarah, this word is for you. I'll give you healing in your hands. And you will heal the sick. And because of your heart of mercy and the grace of God that is over your life, I've anointed you, says the Lord, with a gift of healing. You weep when you see 
those in pain. You cry when you see those in pain. For I've given you the gift of mercy. You show mercy to the merciless. You are gracious to others who refuse, when others refuse to be gracious. Therefore, listen to the word of the Lord. You shall receive and manifest the gifts of healing. And you shall heal the sick. And you shall heal people who are in pain. You shall heal the mind and the body. For I have anointed you with the ability to heal. And you will manifest my goodness. As you wait in my presence and spend time with me. You will manifest healing. And my healing will flow through you. I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to bless your children. I love you. I love you. I set you apart when you were born. And I set you apart and I, and I cause you to experience the things of the kingdom. And I cause you to know me. Now, put off the limits in the things of the spirit and hold nothing back. Plunge yourself in the things of the spirit. Pray in tongues. Release yourself in my hands. For the time of your visitation has started. Says the Lord. Rakadoroba shanda darababa rakadoroba shanda darabaka roko rakadarabaka sharaka roba kadaraba sharaba rakadoroba kadaraba sharaka roba kadaraba shanda darabaka I see you walking in a path and the path seems as though you are lonely there but the more you walk in that path and it's difficult and it's, it seems it seems lonely and you feel sometimes that you are alone in this path and you're asking question, Lord, what, where, where can I get encouragement for the things that are depressive, the things that I'm struggling with? And the Lord is saying, as you walk in that path, soon he will begin to build you with friends. And he will begin to bring people to reason with you. And more will come and say, teach me the ways of the Lord. How come you are at peace in the midst of the storm? And you begin to teach them. And you begin to encourage them. And you begin to strengthen them. For I've anointed you, says the Lord, to see what others can see. I've anointed you to see and be a visionary in the midst of, the, in the midst of darkness. You shall see in darkness. Men will begin to ask questions. Who, is, who, who are you? Who are you? For I've anointed you to see. And you will speak and it shall come to pass says the Lord. And the Lord is telling me to tell you, He has selected you for promotion. He has selected you for promotion. And more promotions are coming. For God has seen that you have been faithful with the little He gave you. You shall be faithful with much, says the Lord. Glory be to God. Raise your hands and worship the Lord. Everyone begin to pray in tongues. Moments like this, I sing now the song. I sing now the love song to Jesus. In moments like this, I lift up my hands. I lift up my hands to the Lord. Oh, singing, I love you, Lord. Oh, singing, I love you, Lord. Yes, singing, I love you, Lord. I, I love you. The enemy's plan was to destroy you. And the enemy's plan was to cause you to struggle and to go through a life of pain and a life of sadness. And the enemy targeted you but failed. For the Lord loves you and he chose you. And he loves you so much. And the Lord is saying, plunge yourself into me because I am in love with you. And the Lord says, you must forgive yourself and forgive those who need forgiveness in your life and there is one person that needs to be forgiven and God is saying it is your season to shine you must let go because this is your season to rise out of the ashes 
for the call of God is upon your life and the gifts of the Holy Spirit will begin to flow in your life and you begin to see in the realms of the Spirit you have been longing to see in the realms of the Spirit the Lord will reveal to you angels and he will reveal to you his presence and you will shout for joy for God will visit you in the night and in your dreams there will be visitations of his presence and the angels of God because the Lord has selected you for favor you are loved by the Lord and the Lord say he brought you here to understand that you will flow in the gifts of the spirit and the time to seek him on reserve pour yourself to him has come for God loves you the spiritual things you have been longing for is beginning says the Lord for you have asked yourself why am I not enjoying why am I not entering into the mighty works of the Lord why is it that I cannot just enter why is it that it is tough for me when it seems easy for others the Lord is saying he has heard your cry and you begin to enter into the wonders of God and into the mysteries of God for you will manifest the prophetic for you will flow as a prophetess and you will begin to see in the realms of the spirit and the understanding of spiritual things will become real to you and many will come to you and say show me speak for you will speak and God will back you says the Lord Amen Raise your hands and worship the Lord. Oh, singing, I love you, Lord. Yes, singing, I love you, Lord. Oh, singing, I love you. Singing, I love you, Lord. Oh, singing, I love you, Lord. Yes, yeah, singing, I love you, Lord. I love you. In moments like this, and in song. I sing out the love song to Jesus. In moments like this, I lift up my hands. I lift up my hands to the Lord. Who oh, singing, I love you, Lord. Yes, yeah, singing, I love you. I love you, Lord, I love you. Ruba kadarabaka, shara kadarabaka, shara karabaka. Ruba kadarabaka, shara kadarabaka, shara karabaka. Ndarababa rabaka, darabaka, shara karabaka. It is that there is flame over you and that flame is burning and as we're singing it is as though the flames were increasing I'm just ready to hand on the microphone when the Lord spoke to me he said that flames is a new anointing for the new move of God and because of the new move and because of the fact that you play a major role god is giving you flames of understanding of the new move not only the move to the new location but the move in the in the internet the move in the in the new move of god the lord will give you an anointing and he has given you says the lord an anointing for the new move you begin to see things that need to be corrected you begin to understand and see things that will be corrected before it happens thus says the lord i've given you ability to discern things and see them before it comes to pass so that you correct them before it happened and that grace has come upon you 
and it's like flames i don't understand why it's like flames but the flames of god are upon you thank you lord and the flames are there to make you understand that it will not just lead to normal stuff of the church but it will lead to personal ministry for your presence will chastise demons your presence will chastise evil spirits for you who move in the manifestation of the gifts of the spirit especially the gifts of descending of spirit you begin to understand the mysteries of god demons who tremble around you says the lord Raise your hands and worship the Lord. Oh, yes, singing, I love you, Lord. Oh, singing. Sister Tina, the Lord is choosing you for promotion. And God has selected you for promotion. And the Lord is going to do great things in your life. And the Lord is going to grant you understanding of spiritual things. Because your heart is fresh and your heart is longing for more. And your heart is humble. You desire to know more. And you desire to flow in the things of the Spirit. And the Lord is going to visit you and grant you understanding on how to minister to your husband. And, 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 and revelations to speak the mind of God. For the Lord's hand is over your life. Grace is over you. And your time for promotion in the spirit realm has come and you will begin to flow in the things of the spirit and as you pray in tongues god is going to transform your tongues and you begin to interpret your tongues and and speak the things that god is saying and you will do it in your prayer and soon it shall come out of your prayer to the streets for you will begin to pray and manifest the gifts of the spirit as you minister to people says the lord I want everyone to raise your hands. There's an impartation the Lord wants to give this morning. All those online around the world, those in the rumble and in our app, raise your hands. Say in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word says, from your fullness, we have all received Holy Spirit, from your fullness we have all received from the fullness of the holy spirit i receive from the holy spirit today the fullness of the holy spirit i worship you lord and i receive from you the mighty manifestations of the gifts of the spirit that which I must know, that which I must flow in, in the name of Jesus, I welcome you, Lord. Manifest your glory. I renounce every dumb spirit of idol worship of my ancestors. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of blindness, dumb and deaf, I command you out of my life I renounce you in the name of Jesus spirit of dumb and death come out of my life I separate my spirit my soul and body from you today in the name of Jesus my ears will hear the voice of God my eyes will see the things of heaven and the things on earth the spiritual realm is open to my to my eyes in the name of jesus my mind will speak the word of the lord from today i renounce and i destroy the impact of idol worship of my ancestors hindering me from flowing in the gifts of the spirit in the name of jesus I declare freedom. I, dec I declare my liberty in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, shout a shout of victory. 
Shara kadoro ba kadara ba ka shara karo ba ka ra kadoro ba kadara ba ka shanda dara ba bara ka roko ra kadara ba shara karo ba ka ra kadara ba ka shara ba bondo dero ba ka glory be to God glory be to God glory to the great God Jehovah ra kadoro ba shanda dara ba ka shara ka many of you will never be the same you will never be the same your life is changed forever your eyes are open your ears will begin to hear and your eyes and your mouth will speak the word you begin to sense in the spirit the things of the spirit we worship you lord we honor you lord we glorify you lord in jesus name amen give another praise unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Please take your seats. We're going to close. I want to thank the Lord because just right now as Bishop was praying, God, I saw this thing in the spirit which I've never seen before. But I realized that this morning, one of the biggest hindrances that's been hindering the church and many people has been exposed. It was a woman standing right here. I didn't even need to take time describing what she is or what she looks like, but my eyes were open to see her. And she's like, how did they get free from that? So all this time she was in the church or the spirit, it just manifests like a woman, was the dumb and deaf spirit. Says so that helped them, their spiritual gift in captivity all this time. So you could receive as many messages about spiritual gifts, but you will never enter into them. And she was here so confused, like, how did they get out of this? So bewildered, like, she did not even see it coming. Can we give Jesus the praise? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He takes the enemy on our heads. I think that is one of the reasons why YouTube just wanted, I mean, it's Pastor Jew who said there was something surely going to happen today that for that reason, he was like, nah, we, we're going to, you know, take you guys offline. But he's already too late. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, I don't know if you see what has happened in the spirit, but for me, it is major. Because if you see how bewildered and shocked that, per, that spirit's assignment was to keep this church in a dumb and deaf spirit. That even after you received all the messages, all the men of God that come here who are seers and the spirit prophets and everything, you still don't see. Ah, today, Hallelujah. arrested. <laughs> that spirit arrested. That spirit arrested. Hallelujah, that each one of us can flow and begin to see the things of the Spirit and hear from our daddy, and hear from our daddy, and hear his voice. For there is no child who doesn't know the voice of his parent. It is our birthright to hear from him. Amen? Praise the Lord. We give God the glory. Hallelujah. One of the hindrances to flow in the Spirit. So always make sure you take, you know, you take snapshots of that so you can read. Pray over those messages. Flowing in the gifts of the Spirit is, is flowing above the satanic realm. I just love that because we go above. Amen. Through the gifts. The gospel must be preached in the power of the Holy Spirit. If not, we betray the cross. The Holy Spirit is a custodian of the gifts of the Spirit. Your relationship with him releases the gifts to you. The Lord Jesus is a custodian of the ministries of God. The Father is a custodian of the activities and operations of God. Spiritual gifts are brief, dramatic, brilliant, arresting manifestations that happen and they are arrested. Hindrances to the gifts of the spirit are attitude, anger, 
um, pride, resentment, unforgiveness, familiarity. Hallelujah. So these are the five things that before you come to church on Sunday, ask God to cleanse you from. Bitterness. Okay. Any attitude spirit. Attitude spirits are things, things that we don't usually repent of. People will repent of adultery and fornication. But they didn't repent because they spoke bitterly or harshly to their spouses or to their children. Isn't it? Maybe I'm the only one. But attitude sins are what the enemy makes us so familiar with that we don't confess them. And therefore, they stand as a wall. They stand at the wall because once the sin is not confessed, you cannot break through. You, God is not, he's standing against you. Anger, unforgiveness, familiarity, taking people for granted. It's a sin. So let us take that practice of cleansing ourselves. Because every Sunday from now on will be a miracle Sunday. Amen? Amen. Every Sunday will be a miracle Sunday. So we come here expecting. Hallelujah. Next week is a special Hallelujah. Especially, especially now that, that that demonic spirit has, has been last left. Hallelujah. And has been exposed. So we are expecting a miracle Sunday next week. Praise the Lord. Oh, wow. This is wonderful. Thank you so much for putting that revelational. The nine gifts of the spirit and their breakdown. So there's going to be a quiz Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Go and prepare. Revise your notes. Yeah. Yeah, take the video so you can know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the vocal gives, the power gives, the revelation gives. Hallelujah. Put it back up. Praise the Lord. Okay. Praise God. Pastor G, we're ready for announcements. Think, put them back up. Hallelujah. So let me randomly ask. Okay. Now, who, 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 who wants to be tested? One on that side. It's next week. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I was going to give a true or false question. But it's okay, next week. We'll have a good time of testing. I'm, 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 I'm teacher. I love to twist those questions. And we'll see how we can, <laughs> how to get you get. <laughs> how to make sure that you really got it. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. Praise God. We just want to welcome those who are here for the first time. It is your first Sunday ministering, uh, visiting the church. Please stand up and we'll give you a warm welcome. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's Amen. clap for them. Amen. Um, make sure, yes. Please remain standing. Yes. Uh, please tell us your name and how you got to know the church. I'm still um, getting over that word <laughs> that was so completely divine, but my name's Jenny, and I was invited by this lovely lady, Judy, who I met through a prayer warrior in a kind of a sister church in Miami like five years ago, and he and um, his uh, brother Bruce have prayed for me through some serious trials, and he connected me to her, and she's local, and I can't believe this is a local church, Wow! so I'm excited to be here. <laughs> wow, praise God. I just want to add one more thing. Um, I have the duty of uh, being on our online church, and she actually, that's another way, uh, Miguel, her friend, is the one that connected me to her. He wanted somebody that would encourage her and help her and pray with her, and so I gave him my number and said, please have her contact me. So here she is this morning, yay. Praise the Lord. Small world. Wow, please remain standing. Yes. My name is Alfred from Cameroon. My aunt and her husband brought me here. Wow, praise God. Next slide, what do we say to them? Welcome, we love you. Come and come again. Come on, let's stretch our hands as we bless them. 
Lord, we thank you, God, for our lovely visitors. We thank you, God, because not by chance or by mistake that I hear today, hearing this word and partaking of this service. Lord, we thank you, God, because they are blessed. We thank you, God, because any hindrances to the flow of the Holy Spirit in their life, oh God, is broken. Lord, we thank you because the eyes are open to see in the realm of the Spirit uh, that which you have begun to do in your life, oh Lord, will you bring it to completion. We thank you, God, because this week more than ever before, they shall walk with you closely and have encounters of angels, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next slide, please. Let's go a bit quicker this time. Amen. So as Bishop has said, uh, we now have a Rumble account. Please subscribe. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We need a lot of people to subscribe because I think we need at, the, at least 100 so that we can do free live stream else they'll, they'll have to charge us. So please subscribe. So you just search for CMFI Miracle Center. You'll be able to see um, our account there. So you, you may see two, just subscribe to two of them. I mean, one is the account, the other one is the channel. Just subscribe to our goal is by the end of this service, we have over 100. Amen. Can we do that? Yeah. Hallelujah. You're watching us online. Please do so as well. Amen. Uh, just an announcement, starting October 1st, we are moving all of our meetings to Zoom, amen? So the women's prayer call, the Wednesday prayer call, the Thursday prayer call, we are moving to Zoom, amen? So this is, it will be a constant reminder, and the Zoom links will be sent out very soon, amen? So everybody, the prayer leaders, be aware of that as well. Uh, just as another, another announcement as well, we're going to be moving our groups on WhatsApp to the mobile app, amen? Hopefully by October 1st as well, we're going to have a move so that we are taking advantage of the mobile app so that you know, if WhatsApp decides to do, you know, we, we are ready, amen? We thank God that, I mean, just by, I think Bishop gave us an instruction to activate Rumble. That was, I think, Friday of last week. And uh, the Monday, it was Monday, I believe. And we, had, we did it on Wednesday. And this is what happened. I mean, it was just so, it was so on point. So we were ready by the time that, uh, that's, uh, that we started the service today. So we, we did our first live stream. So the same thing, we're going to be moving to our mobile app, the messaging of our mobile app very soon, starting October 1st. So group leaders, let's make sure that those who are, don't have yet the app, make sure that they are added. Our information about our app. Yes, let's keep going. We'll send this via newsletter. Uh, this is our weekly meetings. Tuesdays, 6 a.m., the meeting, the, the women's are meeting. It's going to be this time phone call, but on, since from October, it's going to be via Zoom. Then on Tuesday night, the men are meeting at 8 p.m. Wednesday, we fast and pray for America, and at 5.30, we are praying on the conference call. Thursday morning at 6 a.m., we pray for Bishop Robinson and Dr. Lisbeth to so join us this Thursday. And on Friday, we are, it's going to be um, uh, a time of testimony and of prayer, amen? So if you have a testimony, please come. Testimony of what you have received, applying the word, amen? Come prepared to testify and to share that which God has been teaching you as well. And then uh, I think that's it. Next one. We're going to have a special meeting this Wednesday at 8 p.m. If you are leading um, our, any of the prayer calls, please, you are, or you plan to lead one, or you want to lead one, uh, if those who are leading on Tuesday, those leading on Thursday, Wednesday, um, and on the Friday meetings as well. If this is required. Please, if you can make it, let me know. Dr. Liz is going to be ministering to us how to host the glory of God, how to host the presence of God as priests, as we are leading uh, the different prayer groups with those who are watching us online as well. So this we sent via the newsletter so that we all have the details of the meeting IDs and the passcode. This is a thousand, by the way, not a hundred. I think it got cropped. So just upcoming events, the women prayed last time. So on this coming Friday, the men are praying, amen, after our Friday night. So men come to pray this coming Friday at 10 p.m. Then the prayer walk, the DC prayer walk is going to be this? Wow, this coming Saturday? You meet after church, amen. So you have directions, and we'll be sent out an email about me. A lot of people are asking, so uh, the where to meet, and the detail will be sent out this Sunday. We'll have those information, the prayer walk, and uh, the medians are fasting and praying the 19th through the 21st. Not this coming Monday, but the following one. The Walk on Quest Mission Sunday is going to be the last Sunday of this month, amen. 
then uh, we are kicking off the Miracle Center Scholars, amen. All the students, those who are in university, PhD masters, we are going to be having a meeting on the 28th. More information will be sent out. And the Shelby, North Carolina mission trip, amen, from, from September 30th through October 2nd. If you would like to go, please let me know, amen. We are, we are working on some logistics. Yes, they are asking for the numbers of those who are going to North Carolina for the ministry of bishop. So it's going to be from Friday all the way to Sunday. So let us know so that we can work on accommodations and transportation, all the details. Please see me after Sunday. This, after the service, please, we have to have the details. And those online, you can send us an email if you want to join us. So if you're in North Carolina, this is the perfect time for us to meet. Amen. Praise God. Hopefully one day we'll be doing meeting from state to state. Hallelujah. Um, the Warrior Bride, the women's conference with um, Pastor... Pa no, that's not Pastor. Yeah, this is from... Uh, with, uh, <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, so the flyer is there. The, with the women's conference, October 6th through the 8th. Please, if you are going, please uh, register $50 um, at the Hilton here in Maryland. The Young Adult Sunday, just to let you, everybody know, Young Adult, Youth and Young Adult Sunday, October 9th. So, Youth and Young Adult, put that in your calendar. More information will be sent out. Or call, can we make some noise, Youth and Young Adults? <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, well, most of them are on, on the instruments. He helps. Hallelujah. So, just an announcement. We have a Melchizedek uh, conference, the Auto Melchizedek with Dr. Francis Mal coming up November 10th through the 13th. Please make sure that you have that in your calendar. Amen. I think that's, that's it. Birthdays, I believe. Uh, no, bi Bible. I think it's frozen. Okay. All right. So we are reading this time from Daniel 6 all the way to Amos 4. Amen. So if you are behind, take a retreat. Amen. Very soon we'll be telling you retreat centers. Amen. So if you have a place in your house that somebody can go on a retreat, let me know so that we can dispatch everybody looking for a retreat. Amen. So we want to finish the whole Bible by the end of this year. If you're behind, please catch up. This time we are reading all the way to Amos 4. Evangelism after 2, 2.30 after, after service. Amen. Birthday. If your birthday is coming up, amen, or oh, didn't pray for you last week, please come up as we wish you and celebrate life, wishing you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy. When is your birthday and one thing you're grateful for? My birthday was last Sunday and I'm grateful for the revelations that God gives me. Ah, praise the Lord. Wow. It was my birthday from the sir. <laughs> Thursday, September 8th was his birthday. Wow, Thursday, September 8th. Praise God. Hallelujah. One thing you're grateful for, for daddy and mommy. Get for Jesus. Amen. Yes, Bishop is going to bless them. Stretch your hand, please. I release the blessings upon you. And in the name of Jesus, I proclaim you shall walk with God. And you have an experience with God that will change your life forever. And I proclaim that experience will happen in this coming year. You get to experience such a revolution with God. And your life will be changed forever. And you become a light in your family. And a symbol of God's blessings and God's favor. Flowing through you and many seen, says the Lord. I release blessings upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I see you shouting on the mountaintop, standing on the mountain and shouting. 
and the Lord says sometimes the chai is a little bit too active but don't be worried because God has a plan for his life he will be raised as a warrior for the mother prayed for him when he was still in the womb and the mother said I want a warrior baby and the Lord has answered you will be a warrior says the Lord and you will shout from the mountain top you will do what others refuse to do you will say what others refuse to say for the boldness and power and courage that will come upon you many will be shocked by the anointing of boldness says the Lord God bless you Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Come on, let's stand up as we thank God for this time. Father, we thank you, God, for your presence in this place. Lord, we thank you, God, for your, the, 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 your glory, your Shekinah presence, Lord. Lord, we thank you because we don't take it for granted that you visited us. Lord, we thank you for the word that came out, Lord. Lord, we thank you because we are doers, not just hearers of your word. Lord, we thank you, God, for your deliverance, Lord, for delivering the church, for delivering us, Lord. Lord, we thank you, God, because today, oh God, we experience your glory. We experience, oh God, the manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Father, we pray for Israel, Lord. We declare the glory of God over Israel. We confess that the truth shall be saved in your numbers. Peace surrounds your, your border, Jerusalem. In the name of Jesus Christ, in your sleep they shall know the Lord. Lord, we thank you, God, for prophets, oh God, for evangelists, for teachers, oh God, for apostles that are coming up in Israel, oh God, um, preaching the word in the streets of Jerusalem. Lord, we thank you for revival. We declare that Israel shall be saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God, Bishop Robinson, for the blessing. May the Lord God bless. Raise your hands for the blessing, please. May the Lord God bless and keep you. May the Lord God cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord God lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You will be the head and not the tail. You will rise and you will not fall. Everything you touch shall be blessed. You will flow in the gifts of the Spirit. And you will understand the mysteries of God. From today you will never be dumb and deaf and blind. In the name of Jesus, in the spirit realm, you shall see, you shall hear, and you shall speak. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I bless you with the ability to hear the voice of God clearly. I bless you with the ability to fulfill your dreams. In the name of Jesus. Jesus and I proclaim that you will not miss God's will for your life the will of God shall be accomplished in your life and I decree that you shall be blessed your children shall be blessed everything you touch shall be blessed you are moving from glory to glory from strength to strength and the enemy shall fail in your life and I proclaim in the name of the Lord Jesus you will call for one and a thousand will answer for God has selected you for favor and blessings you are marching like the army of the Lord and you will go in power and you will go with freedom and you will release the glory wherever you go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you shall not die before your time you will live life to the fullest none of your children shall die early in Jesus name you will not bury your children instead you will live life to a good old age to the glory of God I bless you with good health I bless you with unparalleled release of wealth you will be custodians of wealth you will carry wealth in this generation in the name name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you. The food is blessed in Jesus name. And the people of God say Amen.